why this is important to know and how you can make gold using it. Hi there, I'm Golden Ross, and today we'll be taking a look at something very, very easy to learn and something that you can now use in the game. Um, and this is basically learning knowledge on your, like, important sellers I guess or not necessarily important sellers but just high demand low quantity stuff is what I'm trying to explain here so I have been watching especially leathers right now there's been two specific leathers I have been watching some of you may already know this but it is war bear leather and the thick cloud tuft leather I've been watching these very closely because I know the values of these items. And just like the Warbear Leather, it had jumped in price. So because I know the values of these two hard to obtain leathers, not necessarily hard to obtain, but low supply. You know, there's very low supply of these two um, materials, and for the most part, they're kind of in high demand. You know, they're not like super high demand, but they are high demand. Um, not as high as, say, desolate leather, you know, it's not as high as that by all means. But with the new auction house system, you should almost always have a buyer for the Warbear Leather and the Thick Cleft Tough Leather. So, you're probably wondering what I'm trying to explain here. Learn what items are valuable that are cheap, if that makes any sense. So, the Warbear Leather was going for roughly 45 gold per unit on my server. I bought up almost a thousand two hundred of them at that price, and they are now worth a hundred. I did post them at a hundred and fifty when a hundred and fifty was relevant at the time, and I haven't sold any unfortunately. But as you can see, I got severely undercut by half the Warbear leather auctions, so that's not gonna work. Anyways, there are more valuable items in here than just those two. Uh, Fell Hide is another one I had seen it jump all the way up to 100 and some odd gold. Um, and it's back down to 20 gold per unit. You know, why, why wouldn't I pay attention to something that's fluctuating that much you know what I mean there are a couple of different ways you can determine which of these items are valuable and which ones are in high demand and which ones should have a higher price but don't the easiest way I can explain on how to do this is just simply by watching the auction house you know find your specific material that you would like to watch over and just you know watch over it if you have to watch a couple specific ones then watch a couple sp specific ones you know what I mean so like for example I could watch over just hides so I will type in hide and then I will select the hides that I want to watch. So I've actually already done this on this character for a very good reason. The reason is because I am flipping them at the moment, or trying to, if I can keep them on the auction house. But I am flipping the cured hides at the moment. You know, it turns out it's very handy and all of that. But heavy hide right here, it's really expensive. So 
my first thought is is where to farm it you know and then not only do I want to pay attention to where the locations are I can farm it so I can go out and farm it myself but I will also watch this on the auction house because I know its value so there's actually a couple different things you can do with this idea or method um, I didn't go a whole lot over farming, but I kind of figured that was a bit of a given. Um, if an item's selling for a lot, then you should probably go out and farm it. Um, especially now with the new auction house, you know what I mean? It's just, why wouldn't you go out and utilize the new auction house hype thing, you know? Anyways, hopefully this made sense. I am not used to explaining stuff and my explanations of things have been taking off recently. So I hope I'm explaining things pretty well. Um... I am going to start scripting my videos here soon. Um, I just... It's been a long week. A long last, like, three weeks. So... Hopefully these pauses and weird out-of-the-blue talks can go away and all of that. Anyways, guys, that's all for now. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.